Okay, I've had some questions on uh, my collection of World War II communication equipment. And the uh, basic question is, what is it and does it work? Um, so I've got it set up in my little bunker up here. Um, I'm going to show you, it. yes, it does work. I can turn on everything. Uh, this right here is a BD-71 field telephone switchboard. Its basic function is through the operator's uh, headset and mouth, mouthpiece to place telephone calls, receive telephone calls. Now, it works the, it'll just like the old style switchboards um, from the 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and sometimes even into the 60s. So uh, a phone would make a call. It would travel through a wire into one of these slots here. And then it would leave a signal. Like if I crank this one right here, which this is how the phone is energized, you're going to see one of these pop open. That's the night alarm. That lets the operator know that a phone call is coming through and he needs to do something. Typically answer the phone, uh, ask who's calling, um, get the get the information on where that phone needs to be transferred. Then it'll take the uh, matching plug, plug it right into there, and then that phone call can be routed from that phone all the way to that phone. And in the field, you can go, well, pretty much as far as you want, depending on the extra voltage you pack. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 miles is easily doable. Um, in the background, you're still going to hear some static from the radio that I have on. So if I wanted to make a call, say, to this would be back in World War II, and I didn't have a, a, a line going, a direct line going from where I'm at, say, the front lines to England, I can use this device right here, which is a remote control unit, RM29A, which allows me to patch in any telephone through the switchboard or the telegraph. comes out of here, travels down to my radio where it can be rebroadcast as airwaves instead of a line signal. And vice versa, if I wanted to take a, if somebody was calling from another radio, I could retransmit transmit that through the RM29A back to the field telephone and even send it to a standard home telephone like that over there. I'm just going to set the phone down here for a second, see if I can ring through. can't do it um, just because I have to use two hands to kind of get this to work. So just the different tones. There's one going through the control unit. And that one's going to the standard uh, old-fashioned house phone. Then, additionally tied into this, I have this. This is a TG5B telegraph unit. Right now I have it disconnected from the system. Whoops, no, I have it plugged into the system. There. Now that's, that's called a sounder. Um, you could use that to receive uh, telegraph signals or send telegraph signals, but you don't really want that buzzing going on while you're, uh, say, in the middle of a battle and somebody might hear you. So I can plug it into uh, the, the field telephone, which I have patched through to the speaker. It's going to be kind of quiet, but you can hear it generates tones that can be redistributed out through the phone networks that's been set up. Um, I think that's about it. hope that explains a little bit about what all this stuff is and what it does.